dang. I'm gonna miss you guys. But I understand that you're needed out there, punching monsters in the ocean. That's a bit of an oversimplification of our work. Come on, Point Dexter. Ocean's not gonna punch itself. You could be out here saying goodbye to everyone with me. I've been doing that for a week. He cried all morning. Darn right I did. Beat that, Sixer. Are you being competitive about sentimentality? Are you being a sore loser? Well, it was nice meeting you guys. Uh, hey, Mr. Pines. Next time you visit, Maybe don't hire anyone. Oh, uh, you, you know, not, nothing wrong with Steven. Steven's great. Love Steven, dude. It's just, you know, I'm the owner. I'll give you two days straight and I have no obligation to still listen. <laughs> he did. I would still like to say goodbye to Fiddleford, but for some reason, no one has seen him for a week. Dizzy Mabel asks, question for Fiddleford. How does it feel to be one of the only survivors of the Bazazzlepocalypse? You speak as though it's over. The Bazazzlepocalypse will not end until the last rhinestone has fallen! Hey, Dad, I'm making dinner or breakfast or something. Uh, you want anything? Hmm. How's the brown meat today? Still all we have. Ooh, sounds good! Hey there, I'm Charlie, and you're watching Popelik VA. Thank you to everyone who sent a question in. From now on, if you want Steven, Dipper, Mabel, etc. to answer your question, send it to my Twitter and tag it Universe Falls. If you enjoyed this video, consider sending a tip to my Kofi. YouTube is my only source of income right now, and monetization is frankly just leaving getting paid fairly for my labor up to chance. All right, enjoy the video. Pat Doiveson asks, Steve Burrito, can you show Perry around Camp Pines? Camp Pines? Did someone say the words Camp and Pine in that order? Oh, good. You made it. We were just answering questions from the scary mailbox in the woods. If you want to join in, there's a bunch of them addressed to you. Excellent. If there's one thing I love, it's talking about myself at length. Hey, Steven! Are you okay? Oh, I said that one somehow. Am I okay? Well, Van got crushed and I had to eat a demon, but other than that, I've actually been relaxing. Wow, that's nice. Anyone? Question for Bill! What was it like being treated like an actual Dorito? I mean, this is karma for what you said to Steven, and now you get treated like an actual Dorito by him! Karma, right? Uh, Melody, could you cover me for a sec? My stomach hurts. Fair enough. What do you think of Waddles? I love him. I love him so much. I had Steven make me one of my own. Meet Waddles Melon, also known as Pumpkin 3.0. Aww, they like each other. Gotcha Petal asks, do you miss Steven? Whenever I have fired at Steven, which I have on multiple occasions, my aim was flawless. I would never miss him. A Vagelis de la Vassilis asks, Why am I alive? Well, I assume the Vagelis de la Vassilis is a subspecies of human. And like all humans, your body performs an autonomous biological function known as respiration, where your cells convert nutrients from food into a chemical known as adenosine triphosphate. This adenosine triphosphate, or ATP, can be easily burned by your cells using oxygen to produce energy and then... Wait. Wait. I wasn't... Finished. Ow. Mabel has requested assistance building a... boyfriend. So, I have constructed this death robot. Wait, a death robot? Isn't it supposed to love her? I was not trained to build love robots. So I just adapted her request to my pre-existing sphere of knowledge, which is robots that kill people. But this one has a heart of gold. Well, mostly copper. But there's some gold. Destroy all humanity. Except Mabel. <sighs> I love a man who can protect me. Now all he needs is a name. Feather Duster. Buster! Buster the Death Robot! The Death Robot? I totally get. But don't you think the name Buster could be a little bit more metal? A little more metal? 
Well, I'll try to find some. Phoenix Kingston asks, I got a question for Steven. Have Fuster tried to fuse with anyone at the shack? Hey, uh, Wendy. Mabel's boyfriend keeps chasing the customers with a soldering iron. Fuse with me! Get away from my boy! Who about mommy? Trancy, no! Yeah, I'm not gonna do anything about that. No, yeah, that is well established. I was asking if you know where Mr. and Mrs. Ramirez are. Did you check the basement? I'm pretty sure they were cleaning down there. Good news! I found the metals that Fuster needs below ground. Better news! While I was down there, I took the liberty of fixing your sad excuse for a work pad. W wait what? The portal! Uh-oh. Whoa, this place is so clean it looks like some kind of infinite void. Good job, Melody! Uh, Seuss? I don't think we're in the basement? Ah, that's one way to clean. Out of sight, out of mind! Right, buddy? What? What? This guy gets it! <laughs>